Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a tricep, shoulder, and back workout with a sprinkle of abs in there. We're working out at the gym, so you will need some equipment, but because this is gonna be a voiceover, I hope that it can be really informative and helpful for you. So let's get into our warm up, get to the gym, and let's crush it together. As always, we're starting with a warm up. Here we're doing 10 external shoulder rotations to get our shoulders ready. The key here is that you wanna try and keep your elbow tucked to your side. So keep that as close as possible while you're rotating outward. I used a super light weight for this because this move is really humbling, but great to do to warm up. Next, we're gonna be targeting the rotator cuff, which is really important for shoulder stability. And since this is often neglected, it's gonna help really improve your shoulder workouts. But again, it's very humbling, so don't be afraid to use a low weight and see how you wanna try and keep a 90 degree angle in your elbow. Next, we're gonna open up our chest cavity, work on some shoulder mobility, and get your back ready to work. So we're doing 15 over and backs, which are pretty self-explanatory, but you wanna make sure that you keep tension in the band the entire time and really focus on controlling the movement. Also, would not really recommend wearing a button for this movement. This last one is really going to help any of us who sit at a desk all day hunched over. We're doing 10 band pull-aparts. This is going to work your upper back and shoulders and make sure that we're ready to crush this work. Getting into the workout, we're starting with barbell rows. So here you can see I'm just using the bar. I started by deadlifting the bar off the ground to make sure that I'm keeping my back safe. And then I bent over somewhere between a 45 degree angle and parallel to the floor. And you really wanna focus on squeezing your elbows to your side and back so that you're really targeting your lat muscles. So again, that first round I did 10 reps just with the barbell and then I added on tens to each side and here I'm doing eight and then I did one more set of only six reps and I added on an extra ten. So as you decrease the reps, try and increase the weight and that is going to lead to the progressive overload and the muscle gain that you want. Next up, we're gonna target your shoulders with a seated dumbbell shoulder press. So we're doing three sets of 10 reps. Again, trying to increase as you go along. Doing it seated, you wanna make sure that your back stays pressed against the seat, and that's really gonna help you with stability, but if you want an additional challenge, you can do it standing up, and that's gonna challenge your core even more. Going back to our back, we're doing three times 12 lat pull downs. Now rewind a tiny bit and watch what I do before I go into the pull down. I make sure to retract and depress my scaps and that's gonna make sure that you're recruiting your lat muscles to do these pull downs instead of compensating with other muscles like your biceps. For so long I used to really use my arm muscles, my biceps to do lat pull downs, but you wanna be targeting your back. So retracting and depressing your scaps is gonna help make sure that you are targeting your back muscles. And I can't really advocate enough that you wanna be using mind to muscle connection while you're doing this move, challenging yourself as much as you can, but don't go too heavy. Focus on controlling the movement, not letting yourself use momentum. Next, we're sprinkling in some chest and triceps with 
narrow grip bench press. So here you can see, again, I'm starting out by just using the bar and I'm trying to keep my elbows as close to my side as possible. I put in a rep range because as you increase the weight, then you might want to decrease the reps, but try and push yourself and see how many you can get doing between eight to 12 reps per set. Next up, we're doing lateral raises, which are gonna target your lateral delts or your middle shoulder muscles. Here you can see I put in a rep range because these moves are surprisingly humbling. And as you increase in weight, then you can decrease your reps. Our last exercise to target our upper body is the cable face pull. So we're gonna be doing four times 10 of this movement to target our rear delts or the back of your shoulder muscles. Pay attention to my grip on the rope extension and see how you want to keep the rope at about eye level. That's really important to make sure that you're targeting your rear delts effectively. Slow down this movement and really use mind to muscle connection so you're not using momentum. To top it off, I did three sets of side planks. So here I'm showing you three different variations. You can either do a kneeling side plank, a normal side plank for 30 seconds, or if you want a challenge, then you can do 20 side planks with a crunch. Last but not least, we're doing three times 10 V-sit with leg extension. Here, you could also just do a V-sit or hold a bow pose. And this is gonna make sure that your abs are done with by the end of this workout. did it time to cool down here I'm showing you a few of my favorite stretches for your upper body make sure to hold each of these for around 30 seconds and I will also link for you a follow along upper body cool down routine Yay, we did it. I'm so proud of you. My arms are literally shaking right now. Let me know in the comments if you gave this one a go and let me know what you want to see more of in the next one. Give me a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and I'll catch you in the next workout.